What's up guys, I'm Joey and this is Performance Outdoor. I love all things about the outdoors. I particularly love finding awesome quality gear that doesn't break the bank. Now today I'm really fortunate to have had the opportunity to partner with a company called Sitpack. Now Sitpack is a Danish company that is self-proclaimed looking to disrupt the outdoor gear space. They have a couple of really cool innovative designs on different types of chair systems. And today I'm gonna to be looking at the Sitpack Camster. So let's get into it. All right, so a few months ago, I did a review on the chair from Click Products. Now, I've had this chair for about six months or so, and this has been one of my favorite chairs, one of my favorite pieces of gear that I've had for quite some time. Now, I'm gonna be using this today for some comparison purposes to compare it against the Sitpack Campster. Uh, I'm gonna do some side-by-side, -side, just some quick stats on the Click and how it compares to the Sitpack. I'm not gonna be getting really in-depth into the technical specs about the Click chair, if you want to get a little bit deeper into that, I'll link to the Click Chair review so you can check that out. But one of the things right off the bat that the Sitpack Campster immediately addresses that was one of my beefs, and I've seen a lot of different people comment the same thing with the Click Chair, is that the Click Chair doesn't come with a bag. You can buy a bag for the Click Chair if you want to carry multiple chairs, but with the Sitpack Campster, it comes with a really nice carrying case and a carabiner. So points to, to sit back for that right out of the gates for actually having a chair with a nice little shoulder strap for you. All right, so here's the sit back camster. So like I said, it comes in this nice carrying case. Fits in here snugly, like it fits in well. It's a little snug, you kind of fight it sometimes getting it in and out, but really not that bad. It's got this nice ripstop material and it comes in I think three different colors. This is the, the gray and the black. Now. You pop up the legs here. I haven't extended them yet, but you, you pop them up and they kind of like lock in place like a little bit. Now it's a little bit different with like the click chair. The click chair has like this really satisfying clicking sound when all the legs are fully extended and locked into place. This one, it has these anodized aluminum poles that just kind of telescope within themselves and you extend it out and you can see that there's these white lines that you need to line up. So right now they're not lined up and they'll collapse into themselves. When you fully extend it, you just give it a twist and those lock into place. And what I found is if you do this one, then this one, then you do the top one and the top one, it just fights you a little bit less if you do it in that order. Now, one of the things that I was a little nervous about the first time I extended these and then I twist them into like the locking position, I was like, well, that's kind of tough. Like I wonder if my wife can do it with her you know, smaller hands and she was able to do it no problems. So it's not that big of a deal. You also do it to the front one. You just twist, locks it into place. Now it's a ridiculously light chair. It's about two pounds. The feet, obviously there's only three legs. So that's a big change. Got this really nice rubber material in the bottom. So it's, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's got like a little good, good grip to it. So it's really nice, but I'll show you in comparison. With the click chair, again, no bag, but when you open it, it has that satisfying clicking sound. I don't, I don't know. It's like, you, you know it's set up. A nice satisfying click, you, you know it's set up. The, the camster, you have to twist the legs into place and they're really solid. I mean, once, once they're, they're locked into place, it's really solid, but I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm spoiled because of the click chair and I know that that's gotta be like really locked in. Um, there's a part of me that's like, oh gosh, I hope this doesn't collapse into itself. Um, hasn't happened yet though. All right, so confidence testing right next to a cold creek on the edge of a rock. It's a little unnerving, so not recommended, but I haven't fallen in. But like I said, with the Sitpack Campster, two pounds. So that's great compared to the Click Chair, which is I think 3.7 pounds. The Campster is usually around like 90 bucks. Um, the Click Chair is usually around like 90 to $100. I think on their website right now, it's actually showing for $100. 
The Campster is rated for 265 pounds, where the Click Chair is rated at 300 pounds. Now, one really nice thing though with the sit back chair is you're sitting a lot higher up off the ground. Um, with the Click Chair, your, your seat is about 10 inches off the ground, where the sit back is 17 inches off the ground. So you're not having to sink sit down so low into the chair with the sit pack. Um, it's more like a stool where the cook chair is more like a kind of like a, a really low bucket seat. So I'll show you that. So this is a sit back camster. It's really ridiculously comfortable. I like this chair a whole lot. Compared to the click the click chair, like you're not having to sink so low. Like it's it's a lot higher. 17 inches off the ground is where your your butt is. My legs, I'm about six foot tall, my legs, you know, kind of at a, at a 90 degree angle. It's really comfortable, it's got a good backrest, it's got some good back support, some good butt support. There is one big knock on it though, is you kind of feel like you're on a slide a little bit. And at a uh, soccer game, my wife wanted to check it out and she was wearing a knee length puffer coat and really, really like smooth, slick material. And when she sat down on this and her jacket rubbed against the, the ripstop, she instantly like slid out of the front. I think the same kind of material, like the, the same type of material is kind of used in a, in a lot of chairs, but because of the angle of the back and the seat with this one, as soon as she sat down, man, it was like, like a water slide. She about, about slid off the front. But it's really good on that flat ground. You can kind of just tell by the way I'm sitting and the angle of the back of the chair. If I'm on any sort of like decline, if like my, my front leg is, is lower than the two back legs, I'm gonna be sliding forward. I mean, but it is a really comfortable, it is really sturdy on flat ground, and I do like it. I like the fact that I'm sitting higher up off the ground compared to the click chair. With the click chair, you can see I'm sitting a lot lower. It's more like that lounge chair kind of feel, but even like in that example where my wife had her puffer coat on, if she sits down on this one, it's kind of like this bucket chair sort of mentality where you're not sliding anywhere because the, the butt part comes up enough where you're just kind of sinking down and you're, you're staying put, like you're not going anywhere. So this one is, is really comfortable on the flat ground. It's also really comfortable when you have a little bit of uneven ground. I don't know if it's just the angle of the chair itself or the fact that it has four legs, but the, the click chair is gonna be my first choice if I know I'm gonna be on unstable ground, but I can't really take anything away from sit back Campster because that's also really comfortable as well. So there's just trade-offs. Looking at these two chairs side by side, this being a click chair, this being a sit back, um, obviously they're, they're very different in a lot of ways, but they're similar in a few ways as well. Uh, they both have those rubber feet on the, on the legs, on the end of the legs um, that give it a little bit of extra grip on the ground. They both have pockets on the sides. The actual click chair has a pocket that goes all the way from one side to the other, where the sit back chair just has two little mesh pouches on both sides. All right, gonna show you how to break down the sit pack camster. So same process in reverse. You're just gonna twist the legs so the white lines are no longer in alignment and it just telescopes right into itself. Same thing on the back. Easy peasy. Now I found the two legs, the back legs, we do those first and kind of at the same time folds down a little bit quicker and easier. And that's that. It does have a strap. You can kind of get a little bit more compact. Makes it going into the case a little bit easier. Let's get the bag here. And you're off and going. It comes with a little sit back carabiner as well. There's actually two accessories that I had come with the bag. Uh, each one is 15 bucks a piece, but one is a little sit pack insulated bottle holder. Um, it's nice, you can, a little spot for the carabiner right here. You put a bottle in there, cinch it down around the end of it, and it can clip right on to the front of your seat. So I have enjoyed that already. A little mesh pouch here and keys or something. And this is a nice touch that the campster has that I don't think the click view offers is this is like these mesh footings for the base 
that allows you to use this chair like in the sand. Like you would put the legs of the chair, like the ends of them into each of these little three pockets and it allows you to put the chair like, actually like, in the sand. All right guys, so that is the Sitpack Camster. I really, really like this chair. However, there's a couple of things about it that doesn't really knock the click chair off of that number one spot. Now the fact that it has a carrying case, it's great. So over a pound and a half lighter, fantastic. A few of those features that I really, really like about it. But one, it's like, if you're not on really, really flat ground, it's kind of a wobbly, uncomfortable sit. If you're on like a slight decline, like you're, you're kind of sliding out of it, maybe even tipping over a little bit. But if you're taking this to tailgates, if you're taking it to your kids' soccer games, this is really a phenomenal chair. I'm taking this everywhere I go. It's really easy to set up. Like I said, it's lightweight. It's built really, really well. It's a sturdy chair from like a design perspective. But if you're not on that flat ground, you feel a little bit uneasy with it. If you put this like side by side against the click chair, I would be pretty torn on which one I would buy. I think I would ultimately probably side with the, the click chair, but this is a really, really solid second choice. I enjoy it. I'm gonna, still gonna be taking this out to, to soccer games. I'm probably still gonna take it out on the trail here and there. There's a lot of spots that you can find at, at flat ground. And if I'm going on a hike that I know I'm gonna get to like an ending spot where it's gonna be flat, I'm gonna bring this because I really like it. Again, carrying case, a little bit lighter. It is a comfortable sit. So that is the, the sit pack Campster. I will put a link to the SitPack website in the description below. You can check that out. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully you'll consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And we'll catch you again soon.